guys, Bot Builder back for another video, and welcome to a very special episode of Robot Wars Omega. Yes, just about a year ago, I made my first video on this channel, which was Random Bot Builds Episode 1, Duck, Battle Bots Replica. And well, ever since then, well, my just collection of robots has expanded, and today, in a WWE style special, 30 of those robots will be fighting it out to the bitter end. Now, obviously, I highly doubt all of you watching my channel are WWE fans. So let me explain how Robot Rumble works, or Royal Rumble works. So basically, there will be 30 robots in, well, just one massive battle. But, look at this arena. We won't be able to fit 30 robots in all at the same time. So, that's where, well... And the format comes into play. It will start off with two robots in the arena, but every 30 seconds, a new robot comes in. And this will just keep on going and going and going until the 30th robot is in the ring, and from there, it's last robot standing. It should be lots of carnage and a lot of fun, so let's start things off by introducing the first two robots in the, in the arena. Chompalot. Crusher. Bearmoth, Flipper, Lifting Scoop. Oh yes, we got... So our first two robots in the arena is sort of an extreme two grudge match. As we have Chompalot, the, the dragon with the crusher, and its two self-writing wings, taking on Bearmoth with the Lifting Scoop and Axe. Now for the Robot Rumble, there are going to be no house robots in the ring. We want as many robots in here as we possibly could. And well... To fit in as fitting more machines, we had to we had to give the house robots the day off. In fact, well, it's the one year anniversary. They're off having a day off, probably having a drink. Virus is probably getting into a bar fight somewhere in Ireland. Um, probably breaking the quarantine rules, because of course he would. Um, so yeah. So let's just get this fight started. So, Roboteers, stand by. Three, two. One. Activate. Here we go. The robot rumble is off and underway, and immediately Bearmoth and Flick Chompalot up and over. And Chompalot are already in a lot of trouble right now, and their Bearmoth are currently using that scoop to great effect right now. Chompalot are up and over, but they do self right, and they're now raising their crusher and now trying to come with a good bite down at the side of Bearmoth. This is currently a very good turn right here from Bearmoth, flipping Chompalot up and over. Chompalot though, using their self writing wings. And we're trying to bring down the crushing arm once again. And I believe our second robot's going to be left in. And yes, it is. It's Killer Queen. Killer Queen are now being brought in. This is Killer Queen's debut episode. And now Killer Queen getting that front end flipper right underneath Chompalot and flipping them up and over. Just like that. Bearmoth, though, going off the sheer heart attack. And they're flipping them up and over. Now, um, Yoshikari Akira, you say sheer heart attack is no weakness, but I don't think you've ever fought someone like Bearmoth before. Um... The Killer Queen though still going after Chompalot though using that good funny slipper. Haven't seen lots and bites the dust just yet. And our next robot in is Speed Dozer. And oh boy, this this is already being very difficult for me. I had to look back at my phone every um well well a lot just so I could get the timing right. And Chompalot seem to be in lots of trouble right here. They're being um bullied by well bites the dust. But now they bring down the crushing arm and they puncture right through. Oh look at that! Oh, poor bites the dust. I think they are going to bite the dust right now. Killer Queen, though, dealing with Speed Dozer at the minute. Speed Dozer coming with a good lift. And in comes our next robot, Robo War Veterans Unique. The full body spinner. And over to cause a lot of damage right here. Spinning up to speed. We already have five robots in the arena. It's carnage already. Speed Dozer coming with a good little flip up right there. All the way from Malta, a Speed Dozer. And Bell now coming in. And Chompalot are out of the arena! Chompalot! First robot in, and then the first robot out, and bites the dust go out with them! Unique spinning up to speed once again. And here come our first cluster bots. Well, actually, technically it was Killer Queen, but here come. Here come um, Double Jeopardy and Killer Queen writing Sheer Heart Attack just then. Sheer Heart Attack has no weakness. Well, I mean, Flipper seems to be one um, at the minute. Oh, and it seems that Killer Queen and Unique are going after each other at the minute. 
Speed Dozer lifting up Killer Queen. And oh, a great flip right there from Double Jeopardy. Bear Moth flipping up and over Sheer Heart Attack once again. And we have our next machine in here. It's Blacksmith, the US veterans Blacksmith. Oh, feel I am recording. Blacksmith bringing down the hammer in onto Double Jeopardy. In comes Speed Dozer coming in for good flip. And they've been flipped out of the arena. They've been flipped up and out of the arena. That was a great flip right there from Black. One half of Double Jeopardy. Bear Moth coming in and flipping up and over Unique. Blacksmith self right. And I think we're going to get our next robot in very soon. I'm honestly... I, on, on, honestly, this is really hard to get through. And our next robot in is the Belgium's Philippa 2. And Philippa 2 takes care of Chompalot. Thank, thank you, Philippa 2. Um, Chompalot are now no longer in the way of the camera. But now Double Jeopardy coming in. Some good flips right there. In onto Philippa. And... And oh, Bear Moth, Bear Moth using the scoop to deflect Unique. Unique though still revving up that spinning weapon. This is absolute carnage. Unique, this this is a great, excellent battle right here. And our next robot in is Tornado. And they got the spinner on. Now, will that be wise? Because there are a couple of spinners in this one. They knocked Unique up and over. That was a great attack right there from Tornado. Blacksmith bringing down the hammer right there in onto Tornado. And... Red trying to take care of Sheer Heart Attack. Meanwhile, Killer Queen now coming in for a great little flip right there and onto Double Jeopardy. Philippa are in trouble, but they do self right and now coming in for a good flip right there and onto Bear Moth. Blacksmith bringing down the hammer and onto Tornado. And here comes our spiky friend, Porcupine. This is, this is Porcupine's debut as well. Robot also mega debut. Quite a few machines making their debut. Philippa, Philippa, Killer Queen, Speed Dozer, and Philippa! The limit! No, Killer Queen eliminates one half of Double Jeopardy. Now, Bear Moth getting, getting controlled right now by, by Philippa. And Philippa have been flipped out. But Killer Queen trying to take care of the other half of Double Jeopardy. Unique, still revving up my spinner. And our next machine is in. And it's Atomic. And Atomic are now going after Bear Moth. Look at this. This is absolute carnage. Tornado getting flipped around by Atomic. Atomics, they are a very powerful flipper. And Double Jeopardy now trying to flip Atomic up and over now. Bear Moth self right. Unique team to be the, well, the scary one right here at the minute. Tornado trying to come for a good little slam and ram right there. And I think our next machine is about to be let in. And it is Red Baron. Red Baron now being let in. The triangular shaped flipper. And Red Baron getting right and underneath Unique. And they flipped Unique out. That was great stuff right there from Red Baron. And now they're going after Tornado, the rammer, the pusher. The pusher are Tornado, they are a very good pusher. And Blacksmith now bringing down the hammer right there and onto Red Baron. Bear Moth, Bear Moth now coming in for a great flip right there and onto Blacksmith. Blacksmith very nearly getting flipped out of the arena. Atomic 2, self right there, the next machine in is Hexbug Heroes, Subatomic and Subatomic Photon. The middleweight champions going after Bear Moth. And Bear Moth have been flipped out of the arena. That's great stuff right there. In comes Neutrino um, and and Subatomic. Su um, well, Photon going after Tornado, it seems. And it seems the two flippers are going after Tornado. And Tornado will be there, the next one to fall. Yes, they do. Yes, they are. They are the next one to fall. And Subatomic still going after Blacksmith. Our next machine in is, Ca is Carnivore. Carnivore, a very, very powerful spinner. Um, Killer Queen have been doing quite well, actually. Um, well, they, well, they just want to achieve the quiet life that Yoshi Kira so longs for. And, well, they've been quite explosive as well, flipping quite a few robots out of the arena. We still have one half of Double Jeopardy still in the ring. Atomic coming in for a great flip. Carnivore, the big, beefy, powerful, spinning drum right there, causing some good hits. Right there, Porcupine, self-right. And our next machine in is Megahertz LT. And Megahertz LT comes for a good flip right there onto Atomic. Atomic though, they do they do get back down and now and Atomic! Atomic have flipped Mega LT up and out of the arena! Oh wow! Well thanks for coming lads! And out goes the evil mouse. Um Well, um Well we're just back to normal then. No, nothing's changed. Mega Hurts LT. Maybe you should try a bit harder. That was pitiful! And out of the arena goes Red Baron! What a flip that was! And next in are the Italians, Zeus, Zeus trying to come for a good flip right out onto Carnivore. Blacksmith trying to bring down the hammer right there onto Neutrino. It's a battle of the axes. One big, one small. And here comes the twin. And they didn't enjoy Blacksmith picking on their twin brother right there. 
Oh, but he'd be knocked out of the arena by the big drummer Carnival. Look at that. And this long zoo sound Carnival. They seem to be on a rampage here. They seem to be on a vicious rampage. Zeus are already gone. Well, next in is Kraken. And Kraken are going, coming for a bit of a chew right there in onto Double Jeopardy. And in comes Killer Queen. Killer Queen. Bison no Makadan. Bison Duster. Um, well, Bison Duster already gone. And Atomic. Atomic still trying to fit Porcupine out, out of the arena. Uh, this this is absolute carnage. This is a great battle right here. And Killer Queen, can they eliminate Red? No, they couldn't quite eliminate Red. Kraken coming for another bite. And here comes the Halloween special champions, Metal Morgue. And Metal Morgue, I think they're going to deal with Sheer Heart Attack. Sheer Heart Attack gone, flipped out of the arena. And Metal Morgue coming, coming in for another good flip right there. And onto Double Jeopardy. And out of the arena goes Porcupine. Well, they did last quite a while, but they're gone. So, and now Carnival are dealing with Atomic, and Atomic getting knocked up, knocked up and over, and they're out of the arena. Oh, oh my God! I am liking Carnival, and that goes Killer Queen. Killer Queen is gone, and now here comes the cheese, the cheese, weedy big cheese, and weedy big cheese flipping Carnival up and over. Honestly, I'd see Carnival as the massive threat right here. They just took out Killer Queen. I thought. Killer Queen were doing quite well, but Kraken now coming with a good drive right there. In onto Carnival. Weedy Big Cheese now coming in with a great flip right there. Shocking. Kraken and Carnival away. And are they going to try and get them clean out of the arena? They couldn't quite do so. And here comes Agent Orange. Agent Orange coming in with some good flips with their flipper right there. Trying to flip Kraken up and over. Metal Morgue still dealing with Red. Red, Red are now near the arena side wall. They're gone. Out you go. Oh boy, this has been incredibly intense. And Metal Morgue coming in with another good flip. Onto Carnivore and Carnivore are gone. Oh, that's such a shame. Carnivore, they were doing so well. And out goes Kraken. That's such a shame. Carnivore, they were doing so well. And now well, we're down to four robots um, in the arena. And next up is Exterminator Remastered. New and improved. They're going to come with their vertical spinner right there. In onto... In onto Weedy Big Cheese, Asian Orange coming in for a good flip. Well, Carnivore, well, with Carnivore out, I'm not sure who's going to win this now. I thought Carnivore, they went on a bit of a rampage. I thought they were going to win, but, well, well, that's the beauty of the rumble. I mean, well, robots get worn down, and our next robot in is Aftershock, and Aftershock going after Weedy Big Cheese. Weedy Big Cheese, probably the most powerful flipper in this. Probably the most powerful flipper in Road Wars Omega, but, but, um, Aftershock are causing lots of damage right here. Exterminator remastered. Trying to chew Gre uh, Agent Orange up with, up with their spinner. Aftershock now being flipped up and over by Metal Morph. But they do have a stream egg. There we go. Self writing in five star. They are still going after Weedy Big Cheese. Metal Morph coming in with a good flip though. And Weedy Big Cheese are rang in again. Flipped out of the arena. They're gone. And oh, whoops. A robot came in a bit late. Limp it. They're a bit late. Um, and that was my fault. Sorry. Um. Aftershock, they seem to be having issues with their spinner, um, but it's still causing a lot of damage right here to exterminate the remastered. Limpet, though, they are a decent little pusher. Coming in with a good little slam right there in onto, in onto Agent Orange and now pushing Metal Wolf. And next in is S21. S21, well, they're going to bring down their overhead spinning weapon. And Aftershock now coming in with a good hit on the side of S21 there. And oh, look at that causing some damage to S21. S21 though, they are going to bring down the weapon and they are bringing it down in fine style. Meanwhile, Limpit taking care of Metal Morgue. Metal Morgue, they flipped quite a few robots out of the arena thus far. Um, and now they're coming with a good flip right there and onto Limpit. Limpit though, pushing Metal Morgue back. Agent Orange and our next machine in is Pussycat. Another slight bit of a late one, not quite as late as Limpit. Limpit though, being impressive. Well, late entrance. Early exit! Pussycat already gone! Well, um... That's a bit disappointing, isn't it? And Exterminator Remastered now trying to bring down the Saw weapon in onto Limpet, Agent Orange, Self Right, and they're now flipping Limpet up and over. Limpet have been quite impressive thus far, slamming a machine out of the arena. And our next robot in is PP3D, and Limpet immediately going after PP3D. Now remember, P now remember, an Limpet um, in Bugglebots anyway, have beaten, um, they have um, beaten um, Mini Spinny before! 
And out the arena goes Agent Orange. Well, it's fun while it lasted, but they are out. Aftershock, no, they spinners. Does he be having issues? Oh, well, um, it can still do that, though. And now in comes Mega Mouse. Mega Mouse not coming in for good flip right there and onto Aftershock. Mega Mouse coming in for good flip right there and onto Limpit. Limpit. They are they're still staying in the arena. A huge hit from the spinner right there by Aftershock. And Aftershock now trying to cause some more damage with the weapon. PP3D trying to rev up that spinning blade. But Limpit coming in for good push right there. Pushing PP3D around. PP3D. PP3D and another good uppercut right there and onto. Limpy and next up is one half of the tag team champions, Corrosive. Oh, very powerful flipper, our Corrosive. We only have two more robots left to introduce. Oh my god, and Corrosive have gone too. Aftershock have been in brutal this 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 battle. And now they're gonna try and cause some more damage to S21. Mega Mouse going after um they're going after Limpy, PP3D, and Aftershock! Oh, massive spin on spinner collision, and here comes Bot from the Blue. Bot from the Blue, probably one of the favourites for this tournament. And he's been hit up and over by Aftershock. Honestly, I reckon Bot from the Blue could win this, you know. They're an incredibly powerful flipper. And now they're getting right on to these Mega Mouse. And out the arena goes Mega Mouse. That was a huge flip right there from Bot from the Blue. In comes S21, bringing down the um, overhead spinner once again. And in comes our last machine. It's Gabriel. It's Gabriel. And we're down to our final robots. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. I think, no, we have seven. We're at seven robots. I mean, I mean, Charles doesn't really count. Well, they're out of the arena anyway. Um, and Metal Moore coming in with a good flip right there. And onto Bot from the blue. Well, we've introduced all the robots. And now it's just last robot standing, really, isn't it? And some interesting machines we've got in here as well. We've got S21. We have Bot from the Blue, Gabriel, Aftershock have been impressive. Um, although I'm not too sure how long their durability will hold up for. They are still running up that spinner and Limpet getting knocked away by Aftershock. But Limpet coming in with a good slam right there. In onto Aftershock. In comes PP3D. PP3D hitting Aftershock with a spinning blade. Uh, Bot from the Blue and Metal Morg still having a good little tussle right there. But Bot from the Blue. Flipping Metal Morg away, Metal Morg getting chucked away. And now down comes the axe weapon of, of, Ga of Gabriel, Gabriel Frey being getting flipped out of the arena. They're gone. Out you go, Gabriel. So we're down to six and, wow, well, we're down to five now. It's Limpet are gone. And so it's Bot from the Blue D. Bot from the Blue, can they get back in? Oh, Bot from the Blue. They were so close to going out just then. S21 trying to deal with PP3D right now, bringing down that overhead spinning Saw, Aftershock revving up their spinner and trying to cause some more damage to Metal Morg. Metal Morg flipping Aftershock up and over, but Aftershock still staying in it. Oh, that was a massive flip right there from Bot from the Blue. Bot from the Blue flipping Aftershock up and over. Metal Morg getting flipped away by, by Bot from the Blue. Bot from the Blue have been flipped up and over. PP3D revving up that spinning weapon. And another massive hit right there in onto S21. Bot from the blue, they are still staying in though, they are still, well, Bot from the blue, they have a very strong flipper, um, although they have been struggling a lot more than I thought they would, the MLU4 champions, then we did see them in the, and oh, look at that, look at that, damage to the front of S21, and the weapon, the overhead spin has been knocked off, oh, look at that, great bit of damage right there by PV3D onto S21, S21 though, still trying to hold them in place with their sort of, well, kind of using it. It's a poking stick now at this point. They can't really use it as an overhead spinner. Aftershock though, self-writing. And now hitting and using the spinner to knock, knock Bot from the Blue up and over. Bot from the Blue, very nearly getting knocked out of the arena just then. And again, Aftershock, they've been brutal this, this thus far. And look at the damage bb 3 d has caused. To S21. S21, they are still mobile though. They're a very durable machine. And well, and oh, another good uppercut right there from Aftershock right there. I'm, I'm liking the look of Aftershock. I reckon Aftershock could win this, you know. They've been a very impressive machine. <laughs> and oh, PP3D causing some more damage. And another, another Blade on Blade collision! 
Oh, and look at Paul from the blue! I think that's Paul from the blue out of it! I reckon that's Paul from the blue out of it! And that's now it's PP3D out of it! So we are now down to our final three robots S21, Metal Morg, and Aftershock. And Aftershock now going after S21, trying to cause some damage. The Halloween Special Champions, Metal Morg, still fighting strongly. But Aftershock trying to cause some more damage. And I think they're going to eliminate Bot from the Blue. Bot from the Blue, they've basically been immobilised. And after and Metal Morg coming in for a great flip right there onto Aftershock. Aftershock though, what can they really do to Metal Morg? In comes S21 though, trying to bring down, well, <laughs> trying to bring down what? The poking stick really. Um, uh, uh, as I've called it. Oh, another massive hit right there from Aftershock right there. S21, I'm surprised they've stayed in for this long. As damaged as they are, I think another piece is about to come off. It looks it looks vulnerable. And and Metal Morg now getting in onto the S21! And they're gone. So that just leaves the final two of the first ever Robot Rumble. Aftershock and Metal Morg, who will come out on top. Well, Aftershock getting flipped up and over. But they do self right, and now they're knocking Metal Morg onto their side, but. And Metal Morg look to be in trouble because they're pinned up against the arena wall! Because they are pinned against the arena wall! And this is great skill from Aftershock right here! To get Metal Morg pinned up against the arena side wall! And I think Aftershock's done it! I think Aftershock has done it! I think they've won! They're doing a little gyroscopic dance right there. But I think they've done it. I think Aftershock have won. The robot rumble. Cease. Oh my word. What a battle. What, what a battle that was. Aftershock. Oh, they were, they were able to, well, outlast tons of competitors. Eliminated lots of competitors too. Honestly, Metal Morg stuck up against the arena wall. Couldn't really get that down. They sell right now, but I'm afraid it's a bit too late, Metal Morg. Um, yeah. P -p Probably just rage flipping at Aftershock there. But Aftershock, they are the winners. And what an amazing fight that was. Let's just go to the post-fight interview. Right. Here's our post-fight overview. And oh my god, there's a lot to go through. Um... <laughs> I mean, just look at all these robots that have just been eliminated. I can't even remember which robot got eliminated when. Um, look at that. They range all as far as the, that. The, the subatomic twins. That was um, Carnivore who eliminated them. Carnivore got eliminated by Weedy Big Cheese. Um, Meg, Mega Mouse got flipped out by Bot from the Blue. Bot from Blue are right there. Um, S21 suffered lots of damage, um, as you can see, for eventually being flipped out by Metal Morg. Um... Pussycat didn't last long. Um, neither did Megahertz LT. Um, um, we've got lots of robots out of the arena here. Um, so some more around here. Um, Bear Moth will seemingly blocking the camera, which is quite annoying. But I'm honestly quite impressed with how Aftershock have done. Aftershock, they've been having a bit of issues with their spinner. It kept clipping the body. But despite that, um, they were able to still get the win. Um, which is impressive, I have to say. They um yeah they are they will be competing in series two, and with a victory like that I think they are going to be quite a feared machine going into series two. Um, um yeah, um they came in at number I can't remember what number they came in as. Um they were number um they came in at number twenty two. Um so they outlasted eight robots, um which is quite impressive. Um, they've been quite impressive this whole episode. Look forward to seeing them in Series 2. Uh, Metal Morg will also be in Series 2 as well, so we'll see how they do. Um, did well. <clears throat> Came second. I honestly was expecting them to um, pull off the upset and beat Aftershock. But Aftershock got lucky. Um, Metal Morg got pinned here. Couldn't use their rollover design. They were pinned against the wall. Um, good, good bit of skill right there from Aftershock. So that kind of does it for this episode. Um... Stay tuned later on today for the Bot Builder quiz. Um, that'll be coming up in a few more hours. Um, either 8 or 9, um, not quite sure when. Um, but until then, though, the Bot Builder, out.